Hey guys, so Inventing Anna just came out on Netflix and it's based on the supposedly true story of Anna Delvey. So obviously when it comes to things that are based on true stories, you have to take it with a grain of salt. So anyway, this is my spoiler free review of Inventing Anna. So look, this wasn't an amazing show, but it still wasn't horrible. I wouldn't say to avoid this show. It did definitely do its job to entertain me, but there was definitely still a lot of flaws with this show. And flaw number one is definitely Anna's accent. So the accent really needed some work. Look, I don't know what a proper German Russian accent is meant to sound like, but I'm pretty sure that's not it. So this tells the true story of Anna Delvey. So she was a 25 year old con woman who conned the New York City elite out of millions of dollars. So basically she was trying to open up a sort of Soho house. So basically Soho house from what I know is like a members only club for rich people. So she said she wanted to start her own members only club called the Anna Delvey Foundation. So she pretended to be this rich German heiress to try to get money off people and it worked and you have to stop and think okay these people they have to have so many people continually trying to get money off them trying to use them and take advantage of them you think they would be you know a little more critical about who they let into their lives especially when it's so obviously somebody who's faking it. Like, I don't know the real Anna Delvey, but based on this story, there were so many red flags where I'm like, seriously, if you were an actual rich person, how could you fall for, for this girl's games? They're so obviously fake. So the actress Julia Garner, who played Anna Delvey, did a great job. Even though I didn't really like her accent, her performance was really good. She's definitely a talented actress and I hope to see her in more things in the future. So the lady that played the journalist, I don't know the actress's name, but I know that she was in that movie, My Girl, that made me cry when I was a kid. Anyway, so honestly, I found her character to be completely insufferable. I really did not like her, like she was pregnant and she continuously put her baby's life in danger because she was so focused on chasing this story and just as a woman I'm like how could you do that for a story, like I don't know, I just found it hard that she was the main character, like it felt like it was her story at times more than Anna's story and that was one problem I had but we saw Anna's story in flashbacks and I wish they'd focused more on her, on her, what she was going through in jail, you know, in current times, present times. And also what happened to her in flashbacks because it mainly felt like it was about the journalist, not Anna. I felt like they focused a little bit too much on the side characters in this story instead of the main characters. And it felt like it just went for too long because it was nine episodes that went for around an hour per episode or an hour and a half. So it just felt like it didn't need to be that long to tell the story that they were trying to tell. So I really found Anna to be a very interesting, fascinating character. She was so cold and clinical and, you know, unemotional and it's like, what drove her to do what she did? Was she an actual sociopath or was she just a very damaged person? You know, we never really got much of an insight into Anna's psyche and I wish we got to explore that more. So I found this to be an entertaining show. Like, don't get me wrong, I did enjoy it. There's just a lot of things that were wrong with it. And one thing that really bugs me was how much little social commentary jabs that they had to put in like they had to have a go at President Trump you know like one time every single episode and it's like he's not even president anymore let it go already 
and it just felt like it verged into that whole, you know, men bad, women superior sort of mentality and, you know, we're all equal, we're all just as valuable as each other and it just felt unnecessary. Anyway, look, like I said, I found it entertaining. I would give it probably a 6 out of 10. So if you've seen it, let me know what you thought in the comments below. And if you could give me a like or subscribe, if you want to see more from me, that would be great. Thanks, guys.